Hey, what's new? Andy Contagulia here, bringing you from the trenches your legal lessons in business. Today's your two minute legal tip Tuesday. Here's what we have to offer for you today. A couple weeks ago, I had the great opportunity to speak with Joey Corneman, the uh, CEO and president of School of Motion. The question came up why should I pay for the creation of a contract for one business deal? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out why. <laughs> The idea here is, again, think back to my premise, which is preventative law. As you develop your business, as you develop your brand, as you develop your um, the way that you operate as a business, not as a photographer or designer or anything like that, but as a business in general, my hope is that you have more than one deal. So you're not hiring a lawyer for one deal. You're hiring a lawyer to put together a contract that you can use on every deal. So let's just say you're gonna spend a thousand bucks for a lawyer to draft you a really good contract that is then something that you use for every deal that you do. And you do 10 deals a year, and you've made 25 grand on your animation at 2,500 a pop, you've now spent a thousand bucks to get $25,000 in business. So now the percentage you know, there, it's not eating up half of what you're making. You're protecting yourself later on down the line. You're protecting yourself from maybe not this first person that you're doing business with, but maybe the 10th person that you're doing business with down the line who is gonna be upset because it wasn't well defined. And what these contracts do is they allow you to, you know, really outline in detail the scope of work that you're going to do, how much money needs to be paid up front, um, how it's going to be earned over the scope of you know the work that you're going to do and then you know when the due date for the project is going to be and then a big thing here and I've seen people run into this is who owns it who owns the work at the end of the day and what happens if you don't get paid do you still have to you know supply the work and you know there's a lot of those you know little nuances I think that people need to really take into consideration as part of their contracts and then assignment of the intellectual property because if you create a logo for somebody and you animate a logo and then that has copyrightable value but under the copyright laws somebody has to own that and if you are creating it by nature of the fact that you are the creator, you own the copyright in it until you transfer the interest in that copyright to somebody else. So as part of these agreements, your listeners need to be able to take the, you know, the information or, or take the design that they've created and transfer the intellectual property rights to their customer who can then go and copyright it with the, with the copyright office at, at that point. So, those are you know, some of those smaller nuances, I think, that, that people just forget about. They think it's just a matter of, I'm the design and you're gonna pay, and it's as simple as that. But there are you know, many, many more you know, things involved.